um, Dirk the Eng here, and I just wanted to talk to you about a software product that I think every um, home do it yourselfer and uh, kind of amateur cam enthusiast and even professional cam enthusiast should know about, and that's Autodesk Fusion 360. Uh, for those of you who have never heard of this product before, it is something relatively new by Autodesk. And uh, basically what it is, um, is a hybrid direct parametric modeling software tool uh, that's kind of meant for collaborative design, um, kind of on a cloud-based subscription service. Um, it pretty much does all of the 3D modeling kind of stuff that Inventor can do, but you also can do um, kind of direct modeling where you have like push-pull capabilities to do very quick conceptual designs and stuff like that that are, I guess, more or less loosely tied uh, dimensionally. Um, I don't use it that way. I use the parametric modeling capabilities quite a bit like Inventor. Um, I mean, you can create sketches just like you do an inventor, define it on a plane, and then you can define geometry, you know, all the basic kind of stuff, and you can put dimensions on on things um, to define them. Let's make this one two and a half, and let's make this one two, maybe. And then we can, you know, extrude this uh, element, and you can drag it out. Kind of, this is kind of somewhat of the direct modeling stuff. But you can also define it to be two inches, you know. So you can create all the same kind of shapes if you want to, you know, create a sketch on a face. It's really easy to do, um, and you can put a, a circle anywhere you want. And then you could uh, extrude that, um, you know, any way that you want. And then you can use the modify button and the press pull, and you can select a face, and then you can kind of pull that out, or you could select this top. Let's finish that, and you could select this top, and you. Could go in again, press pull, and you know, move these faces around as you felt fit. And that's kind of what they're calling a direct modeling feature. Now, in the background, it's really does have a history tree, like just like a parametric modeling uh, software tool, uh, like Inventor. But I guess this direct modeling is really um, just manipulating the the constraints in the parametric modeling software. So. You know, you kind of get a hybrid feel of it. Um, you're not going to have every kind of, like if you wanted to do, um, like import any kind of uh, 3D model and then move faces around and stuff like that. You'd struggle in this software to do that. But I generally don't do that kind of design work. Um, I'm much more of a, you know, kind of a parametric engineering work. So this is a fantastic tool um, because it allows you to not only do uh, very quick, uh, single solid body modeling, it also will allow you to do um, assembly modeling. And I have some examples. You know, here's something that I just was working on today. It's the engineered drawing for the um, one of the ceiling mounts that I've been working on for that ceiling hung sheet good storage device. And, and here you have uh, on either side of a 2x4, you have. Um, this is three quarter inch plywood that I'm using to reinforce that joint and um, essentially it is just a two by four with a rounded edge and so you can fully define assembly constraints um, in, in this and this is something that you won't get in most uh, free 3D modeling software or even like um, you know like a lot of uh, CAD cam combination software that's based on the uh, the open kernels now um, that are available um, most of them won't have assembly uh, uh, capabilities and that's something that's nice in this um, piece of software 
The other thing that is extremely cool is you have uh, integrated CAD CAM capabilities. And so here is the CAM workup that I've done on, uh, you know, cutting this out. And um, so this is that uh, uh, reinforcement side bracket. And um, essentially I can define a, um, a starting stock material and um, define pocketing um, contours and stuff like that. But it, you also get um, some very... Uh, I guess I would call a very heavyweight um, cam capabilities like adaptive clearing and 3D capabilities like um, um, uh, remachining, pencil machining, uh, and all kinds of different uh, machining strategies in, in 3D that uh, these kind of things you won't get without spending you know ten thousand seven to ten thousand dollars in cam software. Um, you know, so this is really pretty impressive software. And uh, the other thing that's kind of cool is you can, they have a really good simulator um, in this. So I will just go ahead and I'll put the stock on. And I'll do transparency. I'll turn the toolpaths off. And you guys can watch the toolpath go on. So here it's using a quarter inch end mill. And it's uh, doing a pretty, um, actually pretty advanced um uh, pocketing toolpath using um, uh, splines for the the toolpath to make sure that you have constant tool engagement. Then you can do a finishing pass uh, on that. And um, uh, here I'm doing, you know, just a profile toolpath, and uh, it has a ton of options, much more than you would see in in most any other kind of CAM software available. Um, and the other cool thing about having it integrated right into the CAD software is that if I want to go back and change a dimension, it will op update my CAM automatically when I return to the CAM uh, module. Uh, that, that, that saves a ton of time, especially if you have to make uh, design changes. Um, and so this is going to um, do put tabs um, in because I'll have my hold downs around the perimeter. And um, so you can see the tabs that are there, and you can control the size and height and type of, of this, just like most other uh, kind of CAM software. And so um, really the, this, is, um, this CAM capability was brought into the, the Autodesk products because they purchased HSM Works, which made a plug-in for um, SolidWorks. And they uh, brought that plug-in... Um, capability into the Inventor suite of tools, and uh, now they're making it uh, available in the Fusion uh, tool set. So, I'm <clears throat> really quite a uh, capable software. Uh, the HSM family of products they have all the way up to five and multi uh, axis with like robotic machining and all that kind of capability. So, um, you know, it's really quite powerful uh, CAM software. And, um, you know, so we're kind of used to seeing this kind of really heavyweight um, CAD CAM software from Inventor, uh, from Autodesk, I mean, but we're al also used to seeing it at a price tag that puts it out of um, the range of possibility for most of us who aren't uh, independently wealthy. Um, for instance, uh, you know, if you wanted to get the basic uh, um, 3D capability like you have in this program um, that I've shown you here uh, with uh, Inventor, you're going to pay about $7,500 up front for the software. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you and talk to you about the pricing because it actually isn't uh, really all that bad. So here is the uh, Fusion homepage and um, you can, let's see if I can bring this up, you can go to the try or buy and um, one thing that's really cool is they are offering a license that is basically if you're not using it commercially for profit or you're trying to develop a prototype 
you can get it for free. Um, and right now, um, even if you don't um, want to, uh, you know, don't want to do that or wouldn't qualify for that license, the full price um, subscription is only $300 a year. Now that's pretty crazy insane um, in terms of uh, the price. And um, I just want to point out that this pricing is not going to last forever. Um, they are coming out with the Fusion 360 Ultimate here um, November 8th of 2014. So that's what, nine days, nine, ten days away from right now. However, they are offering um, right now a great deal. If you subscribe to this $300 annually, um, annual subscription, you will get the Ultimate um, at that price for life until you stop subscribing to the software. Um, so what will be the differences? Um, essentially what I have or what they're giving away as a free trial or demo is the ultimate um, package right now. Um, so it, uh, the main thing for me is that it has the three axis machining capabilities in it, um, which, you know, uh, has uh, high speed milling techniques and all that kind of stuff in that uh, cam package. Whereas if you don't if you don't do the um, upgrade now and wait till later, um, <clears throat> the standard will only have the two and a half axis machining, um, which still isn't bad because you know even from you know other cam packages you're still going to pay you know a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to get that kind of capability. Um, but though, that's pretty much the main difference. And I think the the other thing is that they're going to be putting in um, part libraries like bolts and nuts and, you know, um, washers and all that kind of um, content, which will be coming soon. And I guess they're going to be doing some simulation um, kind of motion analysis stuff in the Ultimate, like if you have uh, assemblies that need to move. Um, the other thing is, like, uh, as I said, it's a collaborative environment, so they're going to have, like, concurrent viewing and the ability to do uh, design modeling on the fly with other people. Um, now, all that is coming at a greater cost after November 8. Um, it will be $1,200 a year if you want all of that functionality. Um, but from what I understand, the $300 a year price is going to be maintained for the um, standard version and you will still be able to get the standard version for free for that kind of um, personal subscription um, use, not not for profit. Um, so, I mean, even if you just want to get the standard after November 8, it's still going to be an incredibly capable CAD CAM uh, software that you can't even touch for under $3,500 would be the cheapest thing you could get that would do all of the parametric modeling kind of stuff that SolidWorks and Inventor does. Um, you know, so this is a really uh, quite a capable package, a good deal that you should really consider doing. And if, you know, I, su I signed up for the $300 a year per, uh, subscription so that I could get that ultimate package um, before November 8th. And uh, I think I'll continue to do that because really this is, $300 a year is, you know, kind of, in the sawdust kind of stuff if you're doing a lot of um, woodworking, you know. I mean, when you work with expensive materials, 300 bucks a year doesn't really impact your budget much at all. So, uh, you know, this is this is uh, worth it, I think, for me. Especially having that integrated CAD-CAM capability is just super tremendous. So, um, anyway, I just, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, you know, time is running out. You have till November 8th to subscribe to the $300 annual thing and then get the ultimate um, package. But uh, even if you don't make that or don't want to, um, getting the free 2.5D CAD stuff uh, with assembly modeling and solid body parametric modeling, you just can't beat it, man. Um, it's just going to... It's it's awesome. Uh, so anyway, just check it out. It's good software. It's fairly easy to pick up. Um, and so anyway, I hope you enjoy it and have fun with it. Till next time.